everybody. This is Karamas018, and this is going to be my thoughts on Fairy Tale episode 117. Uh, I'm going to try and get as much of this done as I can because I got the hiring packet from Dollar General today that had a ton of documents and stuff that I needed to read, sign, fill out, all that. So I guess I am officially going to be hired, I just got to wait for them to call me and tell me when I start. So, just so you guys know, I don't know when I'm going to be able to stream when I do get hired. Because I don't know what my hours are going to be like. And I don't know uh, if I will be able to actually do anything like that once, uh, you know, my mom gets home. Because I've been, if I've been working just about all day and I get home and I have to help my mom with the kids, then there's not going to be any streaming for that day. Most likely... Worst case scenario, uh, worst case scenario for streaming, I guess, I would only be able to stream on the weekends, depending on, you know, what's going on that day. Because if I'm not spending time with Travis those days, then, yeah, I will try and stream in addition to doing the podcast on Saturdays. So that will be the worst case scenario, uh, depending on what days I work. Anyway, on to the episode. This episode, it showed Juvia still trailing after uh, Meredy and Zara first choosing after her like the girl in the ring does. It's so freaking creepy. <laughs> oh. But they actually end up running into Zancro uh, on the way to their exit point, which was going away from the ship. And he automatically knew something was up. He's not stupid. And, uh, you might want to watch the reaction before, uh, watching this, just as a warning, because I'm going to spoil it a little bit. Actually, going over the whole freaking episode is kind of spoiling anyway. Uh, yeah. Zancro relieves Meredy of Zaref forcefully by attacking her and knocking her down and grabbing Zaref. And planning on taking him back to Hades. But Zaref ends up starting to regain consciousness, and he says one word. Acnologia. Uh, and those of you who know fairy tale know that that is not a good thing. That is a scary, terrifying thing in the world. Most terrifying thing in the world, actually. Actually, it's sc probably scarier than Zaref. And that's saying something. I think, actually, it's scarier than... Zareph, all the Dark Guild combined, Blue Note at full strength. Uh, what else? Actually, it's probably scarier than all the guilds combined, Dark Guild and regular. Because Acnologia is probably the strongest thing out there, in my opinion. Now, those of you could probably argue on that, but I don't need to be arguing on things that I haven't seen yet. Since I only just got done with the Tenral Island arc. And only got like a couple episodes in after that. Anyway, yeah. He says Acnologia. That kind of catches Zancro's attention. Looks over and... That same dark thing... That same dark aura... Shot out of him. And hit everything. Killing all the trees. But somehow leaving Meredy and Juvia alive. Surprisingly enough. Bad thing for Zancro. It kills him. And the look on his face makes me think he died of t sheer terror, essentially. Because he has a terrified look on his face. I actually thought he knocked him unconscious for a second, and then I saw- And then the way he acted, I was like, oh, he killed him. So yeah, that is the second character death. Uh, yeah, I think sec second character death in the show, besides Simon. So Simon died first, then Zen Crow. Wait. No, third character death, I'm sorry. Because it was Simon, then Asuma, who fighted Urza and died because he got absorbed by the, by the tree. Uh, who else died? Uh, I think those are the only two that really died at this point. Uh, Simon, Zancro, and Asuma. All three of those characters are dead, essentially. So, yeah, we've had three character deaths in this whole show. If you think of it, if you could think of any other character deaths, 
that I haven't thought of. Besides, obviously, or but that was that was before the fairy tale show started, so I'm not really counting it. So if you can think of any other deaths that I haven't mi I have missed, then feel free to talk about them. Anyway, uh, Zara walks away while the girls are unconscious, and well. The others at base camp decided they're gonna. A part of the group is gonna go and attack uh, attack Hades' ship and try and take down Hades. Because if they take down Hades, obviously the rest of his minions will flee because Hades is apparently the strongest out of all of them. I think Poss I don't know if he's stronger than Blue Note. I don't know because I don't think I don't know who would win in a fight between those two. Anyway, uh, it goes down to Urza, Grey, Lucy, Natsu, Wendy, and obviously the X seeds going towards uh, Hades' ship. And Natsu tells the X tells Happy and the others they need to go and destroy what makes that thing fly because if, obviously if it takes off, that's bad for Natsu because well. He gets motion sickness. He's not going to be able to fight if that happens. So they obviously Lee go and go their separate ways because they have to do that. And I feel bad for Panther Lily. He's terrified of thunder and lightning. Uh, I don't blame them. I don't blame him for being frightened of that. Thunder, not so much, but lightning, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, they get to the ship and they rush inside and start attacking him. And, yeah, I had a feeling that when they started doing that, that that was going to be a very long fight because it's not going to be that easy to take down the the Guildmaster of Grimoire Heart. I think the strongest out of the three in the Barham Alliance. Because I think it's Grimoire Heart, then possibly either Tartarus or Rashian Sace, and then the other one. Uh, when it comes to the strongest. Because I think Grimoire Heart is the strongest. But yeah. They work on fighting him. And they don't even land a scratch on him. And he apparently kills Wendy. Which I actually didn't know what the heck had happened. Thank goodness Horologium showed up and saved her. Because who knows. Actually I don't even know what the spell would have done had it hit her. Can somebody actually clarify that for me? Because I don't even know what spell he used. All he did was, uh, he look in her direction, yell, and apparently that was enough that could have killed her. I have no clue. Anyway, uh, everybody starts getting their butts kicked, sadly. Then again, this is, like I said, is the strongest guild master in the Barham Alliance, so, yeah, it's, they're gonna have a hard time with it. And especially currently, because they're... Not at full strength. If they had been at full strength, they might... Might have had a better chance. But, yeah. Uh, he essentially ends up taking them down and is about to take down Natsu. When, out of all the blue, Loxus shows up and, sa and saves him. Said that we don't get to see the fight, because that's in the next episode. But, yeah... I don't know what made Loxus want to show up at a, at a any point in time now, of course. But it's a good thing he did. But oh, oh sorry, I'm tired. Anyway, uh. Yeah, that's all I have to say. I was surprised that Zancro had died because that is the third character death in the show that I know of. Like I said, if anybody can name any others that I might have missed, that'd be great. Anyway, uh, that's about all I have to say for this video. If you guys have anything else you want to talk about for this episode... Or anything you liked or disliked in the show, or this episode I mean, then feel free to comment in the comment section and I'll reply. And if you are new to the channel, 
Uh, feel free to subscribe if you like this. If you like Fairy Tale or any of the other reactions I'm doing. And you'll be notified, and hopefully hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I do upload new content. And actually, if you're new, feel free to check out the Discord link in the start in the description because, well, I made it so that I'd be able to talk to my subscribers and be able to talk with them in real time instead of just relying on the co instead of relying on the comment section because that be overcrowded by that. Anyway, uh, I will see everybody next time.